August 23rd, 1814, Washington, D.C. After defeating American forces at the Battle of Blandensburg, the British turned their sights on Washington, D.C., where they hoped to raise some hell and draw U.S. attention away from Canada. Meanwhile, in D.C., First Lady Dolly Madison is anxiously watching the horizon for British troops, trying to decide whether or not to get her ass out of there. Days earlier, she'd assured her husband, President James Madison, that she had the, quote, courage and firmness to wait for his return while he consulted with his generals in the field. Then again, he'd also advise her to grab all the important state documents and run if the British showed up. Which, she noticed in the distance, was happening. You probably know the story from this point. In the mad dash to get out of the White House and get to safety, Dolly broke the frame of the George Washington painting, cut it out, rolled it up, and had it ferried away to safety. Where exactly this was, and by who, is still somewhat of a mystery. But the irony of the story is, the painting, called the Lansdowne Portrait, was one of four created by Gilbert Stuart, hence a replica, and it was originally commissioned by Lord Lansdowne, the British Prime Minister who secured a peaceful end to the revolution. Go figure. Anyways, the question at hand is, is this story actually true, or is it, like some of our favorite American legends, just a legend? The answer is, as far as we can tell, it's mostly true. The one detail that likely isn't correct, and the White House even acknowledges this, is that Dolly Madison herself took the painting down. Apparently, this was a story that circulated in the early 19th century, and even carries on to this day, as that's what I always imagined. She's running out of the White House, notices the portrait on the wall, and grabs it. But when you understand just how big this thing is, more than 8 feet tall and 5 feet wide, it's a little harder to imagine. As Madison's personal slave Paul Jennings wrote later in his autobiography, quote, She had no time for doing it. It would have required a ladder to get down. The truth is, Dolly likely, and I say likely as this is the story agreed upon by almost every reliable source, Dolly likely enlisted the help of slaves and staff who worked at the White House. As Jennings recounted, quote, John Sousa, the master of ceremonies of the Madison White House, and McGraw, the president's gardener, took it down and sent it off on a wagon with some large silver urns and such other valuables as could be hastily got hold of. Thanks to these efforts, the portrait was saved from British hands, even though they already owned a copy and still hangs in the east wing of the White House to this day. What's your favorite bit of First Lady history? Let us know in the comments, and be sure to check out our new series, Legendary Firearms, with all episodes out now on Raider Red's YouTube channel. I'm Christopher Pilney.